The cybersecurity industry is promoting products under two names, antivirus and anti-malware. Consumers often get confused about which one to choose and what exactly is the difference between the two. Before that, let's understand what is malware. Malware is actually short for malicious software. It's an umbrella term used for all forms of intrusive or hostile software like Trojan, adware, ransomware, etc. A virus is just one form of malware. In the early days of computing, viruses were the most infamous malware. So the term antivirus has become popular and manufacturers use the same name to market their products. However, in today's age, we have a plethora of malware. Today's antivirus products not only protect you from virus attacks, but also from other forms of malware. Technically, antivirus programs are anti-malware too. We will not just talk, but demonstrate the fact. On my computer system, I have installed two products marketed as antivirus, namely Bitdefender Antivirus and Avast Antivirus. On another side, we have Malwarefox, which is marketed as an anti-malware program. Please note that I have deliberately disabled real-time protection to avoid automatic detection of malware. We will manually scan each folder. Before beginning the scan, just make sure that each one of the products is updated to their latest signature. I have a set of 1,000 malware samples, which we will test against all three security products. Let me just copy them into the respective separate folders. Let's begin the scan with Bitdefender Antivirus. We have 939 malware infections detected out of 1,000. Next on the list is Avast Antivirus. It has detected 897 out of 1,000 malware samples. We are done with antivirus products. Let's scan with Malwarefox Anti-Malware now. Malware Fox was able to detect 978 infections out of 1,000. In this set of samples, the anti malware product Malware Fox was able to detect more than the other two antivirus products. Even though Bitdefender and Avast are marketed as antivirus, they are still able to catch all forms of malware. So, in today's world, most of the security products are anti-malware irrespective of the name they are marketed with. Questions now arise, why do I need antivirus programs when anti-malware can detect everything? Programs like Malwarefox are second opinion scanners. They are designed to work alongside the antivirus programs. As you can see in the test results, none of the products were able to detect 100% of the samples. These numbers might change with the change in sample sets. Having anti-malware programs installed on your computer is recommended. It acts as a secondary layer of protection against malware attacks on a computer system. I hope this clears your doubt about the difference between antivirus and anti-malware. You can use the comments section below for your queries. Thanks for watching.